chance to knock the blue out. Bit risky though, isn't it? There is a bit of the yellow that might be poking out. Mark's in no rush in this frame. He's not the one that necessarily has to force the pace. Ian Highfield's going to be left with a long range shot similar. No, Mark Williams decided very cleverly to get the blue into play, don't knock the yellow in. Oh dear, what's going on now? Oh, now Liam Highfield can't win in one visit either. Be a shame for a re wreck. <laughs> Don't knock the yellow in. That's a schoolboy error. I wonder if Mark Williams now asked Liam Highfield for a re rack what Liam says. Surely he says no. <laughs> I don't think either player wants this, but you have to play the balls the way they go. Nearly could be in trouble mm, there, but that's uh, a mistake, wasn't it? Well, nearly a mistake. I don't think he can just can get the snooker, but he doesn't want to hit this too hard. He knocks the yellow in. Cushion first if Liam can play it. Mark is playing for the draw now. Good shot. <coughs> it might, might, Mark might have him in trouble here. <laughs> Can't afford to knock this yellow in, Mark, uh, Liam. Mark thought of that pace, he'd got to knock the yellow in, but it, uh, once again, with the cloth being a bit damp, you know, that's taken a little bit of pace out of the cloth as well. Well, at some stage, there's going to be a shot where the, 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 the blue can snooker the red, especially as that yellow's a bit close to the pocket. That was a poor shot, actually. Oh. And that's a tough one. I think you hit that very thin. Oh, really? Really? Did it, yeah. Ooh, didn't look no, like it. No, he did hit that. No, no, he did hit that. No, no. I'm sorry about the wording, but I did hit that very thin. Gee whiz. Well, I'd like to see another. I'd like to see that again. You would, perhaps it did. Hmm. May have been a good call, that. Yeah. Wow. Touching ball. Not. Didn't move that, did he? But he did. <laughs> As you left. Oh. So it's a tough shot to get the extension out, isn't it? Oh, this. <clears throat> That yellow seems to be rocking back, doesn't it? <clears throat> I mean, while it looks like a stalemate, I, th I think it's correct that the referee hasn't said it's time for you to sort of push this on. There's no way it would be fair to stop the frame now and say for a re rack unless the players ask for one, because every time this the shot's being played, the yellow is slightly moving towards the pocket. Having said that, 
Oh, two. Oh. Mark Williams, four and the three ball. The first heavy handed hit of that. Mark Williams has a free ball. He can't hit both sides of the red. The black's in the way for the right hand side of the red. Seems a bit strange, but that is the rule. There's only the green safe on the table One. now. And he's left handed, so I don't think that's particularly safe. But it's getting the angle on this yellow to get onto the green. <coughs> Maybe he feels there's a better angle on the brown to get onto the yellow nicely. Anything but straight. Five. Well. The problem is, uh, I don't know if the brown pot's past the blue. So. Seven. He's going to play the green in such a way to get on the brown into another pocket. He obviously didn't have the angle anyway to get behind the green, so this is a big shot. to get there, did it, from no, that green? No. But just when you thought it was safe to go in the water, <laughs> Mark Williams pulls out an astonishing green. Well, he's going to leave himself distance from the pink. Do you fancy him missing the pink then or something? No, I fancy the positional shot <laughs> isn't as easy as it looks to get the right side of the table. Oh, he only needs the pink, my apologies. I thought he needed a lot. Fantastic effort there from Mark Williams. Very, very good indeed. That was a really exciting, very intriguing snooker there. But eventually Mark Williams has pulled his way back into this frame and win, uh, wins that frame and levels at 4-4. Oh, well, that was intriguing, Steve. <laughs> I mean, uh, they must have played 20 shots on the red before the yellow went in. Yeah, it's a type of situation you wonder whether somehow Liam could have knock the yellow in and kept I don't know touching the red and then not left mark a shot or I don't know.